don't you want to be victorious in week 10? Well, you need to understand the correct stats to be able to do that, to dominate your opponent and take over in week 10. Lucky for you, I'm here to help you out with that. So let's talk about it a little bit. We were just in Halloween, but guess what? Now we're over here in Thanksgiving, getting ready for our Thanksgiving slate. But let's be completely honest. Let's go through our Statapalooza here by starting with Alexander Madison. And it's a shame because we have to talk about Cam Akers. And unfortunately, Cam Akers tore his Achilles. But does this reopen an avenue for Alexander Madison? Let me know in the comments below what you think, but I believe that it does because he's on the field 61.8% of snaps this season, and he has garnered you the fourth highest expected fantasy points for running backs, which then I laugh because, like, if you have him, you know why I'm laughing. It has not been a good season for him, but he might actually be able to elevate a little bit in the standard because now he has Joshua Dobbs and not Kirk Cousins. And Kevin O'Connell is going to have to bring that offense back. He's going to have to reel it back from being pass heavy and 11 heavy, especially with KJ Osborne out with a concussion, most likely out with a concussion this week. He's going to have to run the ball more. So if you have Alexander Madison and you've been sitting him because he's just not giving you the points you want and garnering the fantasy expectations you need for your fantasy lineup, well, guess what? Week 10 is that week. Week 10 is giving you the opportunity to use Alexander Madison and it's knocking on the door. You just need the answer. Another stat I want to talk about here is Seattle versus Washington. How that game could be a really, really fun game for fantasy purposes this week. Because, well, to be honest, the slate is terrible. But let's get back into this. Because Washington has allowed the third most yards to wide receivers. They have also allowed the 11th most end zone targets to the position and the third most end zone touchdowns to the wide receiver position. And they have the worst passer rating when it comes to covering a wide receiver. And what do you have coming into town against the Washington Commanders? Well, you just have Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, and Jackson Smith and the Jigba, three wide receivers who are extremely talented going up against a cornerback in Emmanuel Forbes, a rookie, which, you know, if you listen to our DFS video before, you want to target rookie cornerbacks. And here's the chance. DK Metcalf was on fire all through October, all through spooky season. And he had a little bit of a letdown last week, but the whole team had a letdown. Do not be afraid to use these wide receivers. Yes, put Tyler Lockett in your lineup. Put DK Metcalf in your lineup. If you have JSN, look at his targets. Look at his stats. The last couple weeks, he has been producing because that's what happens to rookie wide receivers. As the season goes on, they get better. And a guy like Jackson Smith and the Jigba, who has all the talent in the world, is just going to layer on his talent with that understanding of the offense and be something special for your fantasy team. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Thursday Night Football. Today. Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, my God. What is that? Well, because basically we kind of have to. Nobody likes this game. I understand it. I get it. It's the Carolina Panthers. It's the Chicago Bears without Justin Fields. And we have two quarterbacks who love, love to check the ball down all day. As we got Tyson Bajan, right, Tyson? Yeah, Tyson. I always want to call him Taylor, but it's Tyson. He's got the 12th highest check down rate in the NFL. He hasn't even played the entire season, and he has 11.8% of his passes checking that ball down. And then you have Bryce Young on the other side, who has the 10th most checkdowns, as he's got 12.7% of checkdowns. So what does this scream? What does this say? Low A dots. Low A dots matter, and running backs matter. So if you have Khalil Herbert and he does come back, well, use him. If not, Deonta Foreman. Roshan Johnson has played himself into being a healthy scratch, in my opinion. So don't worry about him. You do have Chuba Hubbard, who's been very efficient. But if you look at the stats, it's really not that amazing. But just listening to Twitter, he's efficient. And then you look at Miles Sanders, who actually still is in play because they used him with a lot of targets last week. So if you're really hurting at running back, if you have the Dolphins, if you have the Eagles, if you have the Chiefs, and you need a running back, and you have Miles Sanders there, I know he has been a dud for most of the season. But don't fret. He has the chance to do something for you this week. Don't expect it on the ground because Chicago's rushing defense has been a lot better. But with the receiving, it's very doable between these two quarterbacks that all the running backs eat in the passing game this week.